uh, we worked on a use case called uh, plant simulation, plant tissue culture simulation application. Uh, the use case is all about uh, trying to develop an application that can be deployed on the science gateway. The, this application predicts the yield of certain crops. Uh, the plant tissue culture experiment is an empirical one and uh, it involves a lot of uh, trials in the laboratory using combination of a uh, number of grouped hormones. And these grouped hormones are very expensive to come by. So it takes a, a lot of trial to be able to get a uh, good yield maybe yield from the plant tissues like uh, the, 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 the stem, the leaf, the roots, and so on and so forth. So this application takes sample uh, laboratory data and then using a regression model, plots this data into the model and uh, gets some values depending on what we want to, what part of the plant we're interested in. For example, we want to know how much the root is going to yield. We take the data for, for the, youth, the root and uh, combine these uh, growth hormones like the auxin and the cytokinin. We combine them and the regression model gives us a uh, likely yield. Maybe it's going to give us three new tissues or three new plants or four as the case may be. So basically, this is the use case, and uh, this use case makes it easier for the scientist to have a pre-knowledge before going to the lab, so that he reduces the number of trials that has to be that has to be done in the lab, as well as uh, it reduces costs and time also. So this is the use case that we have developed. The first version of it got a 67. Uh, there are about 67% accuracy. And the current use case we worked on now, which is the plant is two, is giving us about 70% uh, prediction, even though we are still working to improve on it. And the application is currently deployed on the science gateway, the, the, the SciGuy science gateway. And we are also building our own uh, cloud to put this application there, the University of Nigeria Cloud Computing Infrastructure. So this is the extent we have gone with the use case. Yeah, the Saga project has been very instrumental to the development of the use case because they gave us a platform for training. Uh, the Hackfest we had in November last year in Lagos was quite uh, good because it exposed us to the tools that were available. For example, we're made to know uh, the, that the future gateway, which runs on uh, REST API, it makes it easy for us to develop our application in whatever platform and uh, deploy on that future gateway without bothering about the, what happens at the back end. Because the problem we had with the first version of Plantix was that we couldn't deploy it on the Science Gateway because of uh, the technicalities that were needed then. But now that has been removed from us that we didn't bother about the back end anymore. Oh, it's very, very important. Uh, Saga has uh, exposed us to meet a number of uh, researchers across Africa that are doing a number of uh, things that are similar to what we're doing. Even within Nigeria, we got to meet some people from different universities that it wouldn't have been possible to know what they were doing or collaborate with them if not that uh, Saigaya provided us the platform for that meeting.